Hi there. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can apply smooth zoom in and smooth zoom out to your videos in DaVinci Resolve with an option to do it with motion blur. So let's see how it's done. All right. So as you can see, I've got this video in my timeline where a person passes by in the gym and there's this handle. All you're going to do is zoom in on that handle. The link to the video is in the description. You can download it and follow along if you want. Now there's two instances. In the first instance, I'm going to show you guys how you can zoom in directly on the video clip. And in the second instance, I'm going to show you how to apply the zoom in on an adjustment clip if that's what you prefer. So let's get started with the first clip. Now what people generally do is they go to the inspector tab, they keyframe the zoom and the position, but that's where they go wrong. Why? Because when you keyframe the position and apply ease in and ease out, when the video zooms in, the video will go all over the place. It will start wobbling, which is what you don't want. So instead of keyframing the position, all you have to do is move the anchor point. But the trick is not to do it in the edit tab, but to do it in the fusion tab. So let's go to the fusion tab. And here, all you have to do is click on the media in node and click this little button that says transform, right? It'll get applied to your media in and then click on transform and go to the inspector tab. Here, instead of zoom, there is size and instead of anchor point, there is pivot. So let's start. The first point will be here, right? So I'll just keyframe the size. No need to keyframe the pivot. Yeah. Then you go ahead. Let's go till 55 and then I click on this and I'll zoom in. But let's say I want this handle in the center. So all you have to do is just move the pivot along. Yeah. And move it like this. Perfect. Now the handle is in the center and if I play it, Perfect. So it zoomed in on the handle. Now how to make it smooth. So all you have to do is click on transform and go to this little option that says spline. Let it open up and then select this little transform one. And as you can see, you've got this little wave, the two keyframes, right? All you have to do is select both of these keyframes. If these are not visible, all you have to do is click on this little button, which says zoom to fit and it will show both the keyframes. Then select both the keyframes and press S on your keyboard. Now, if you play the video, see, it's much smoother, but I still like it much better than this. How to do it? Just click on this again and just select the right keyframe. Click on this and drag it all over to the left side, just above the first keyframe. Yeah, something like this. And now if you play the video, see, it's much cleaner and smoother. And that's it. That's how you can apply the smooth zoom in. Now, like I said, you have the option to apply motion blur as well. How to do that? Just go to the settings of the transform node in the inspector and here you've got the option for motion blur. Just select that and you can increase the quality. It's based on your system. Make sure that your system can handle the motion blur. Yeah. And now let's say the quality is on two. And now let's say I play this. As you can see, there's a slight motion blur in it, right? You can increase it if you want. It's all upon your preferences. So that's basically how you can apply the zoom in. How to apply the zoom out. Same thing. I'll go ahead in the video. I'll go back to controls. I'll select the keyframe of size once. And then I'll go ahead in the video, click on it again and just click on this little dot, which will just reset it. Yeah. So now if I play it, see, it will go out again. You're going to apply the smooth in. So just click on this button right here. These two keyframes, just select both of them, press S on your keyboard and then select the right keyframe and stretch it all the way to the left side. And there we have it much smoother and cleaner. So now if we go back to the edit page and play it. Zoom in, wait a second, zoom out. See, that's so clean and that's pretty much it. That's how you can apply it to the clip directly. Now, if you want to apply it to the adjustment clip, just follow the same exact procedure. But now, because I've already created a transform node, all I'm going to do is just click on this, go to the fusion page. I'm going to copy this little transform node. Yeah, this one, which we have already created. Press control C. I'm going to go back to the edit page. I'm going to go to the adjustment clip, right click, open in fusion page. And I'm simply going to paste it right here because it's the same length of the video. So now if I go back again, see, zoom in and then again, zoom out, right? If I disable this clip, it won't work because it's applied to the adjustment clip, right? So we'll have to enable the adjustment clip and then it will work. So that's how you can apply zoom ins and zoom outs in DaVinci Resolve much smoother and cleaner ones with motion blur to either the clip. Or the adjustment clip. I hope you find this video useful and if you do make sure you like this video it really helps the algorithm suggest this video to the needful people. Also share this video with your friends and consider subscribing to the channel. I post such kind of DaVinci Resolve tutorials, how to tech videos, tech reviews, I stream games occasionally and I post some knowledgeable and informative YouTube shots. I also have a website where I post weekly blogs about all of the stuff that I just mentioned and I'm available on Contra.com where you can hire me for freelance clips. And that 
brings us to the end of the video guys thank you for watching the video i'll see you all next time bye bye